I'd like to give you an update on our efforts to get the Federal Reserve audited. Things are coming along quite well. Matter of fact, a little bit better than I ever anticipated. With 272 members of the House now supporting it and 13 members of the Senate, that's doing pretty well. In the House, there are 95 uh, Democrats that have supported it, as well as two in the Senate. So things are coming along quite well. But it makes me think about what happened in the 1970s, the last time we had a major economic crisis. There was an effort to go after the Fed. And in 1978, there was the law passed that said that uh, the Fed could be audited, except for, and they put all those provisions in that we're planning to uh, repeal. At least we're going to make that effort. So although there's tremendous grassroots pressure uh, for auditing in the Fed, we see that the big guns are coming out now. They're trying to line up the establishment uh, economists and, and other uh, business people to uh, warn people about the great danger of the American people finding out uh, who's benefiting from behind the door uh, seeing uh, activities of the Federal Reserve. So this is what we have to be aware of. And of course, I have a responsibility to try to keep up as closely as possible to see how this finally comes out. Because I think it's going to be impossible for them just to ignore everything we've done and just walk away. Something will be done. The big question is, is will we be able to get something uh, worth, worthwhile? Uh, in, in the Senate now, uh, we've been very pleased. There's not quite as many, but that's where a lot of work has to be done. So if your congressman already, uh, you know, supports it, there's nothing wrong with uh, asking your senators to support this, uh, this effort. But I did want to mention one individual who did help spur us on in this, and this is Spencer Backus, the ranking member uh, for the Republican Party on the Financial Services Committee. He got on the bill rather early, and the rest of the members of the Financial Services Committee on the Republican side got aboard. And this was a real help in getting the leadership of the Republican Party to, uh, to join us and uh, finally leading to everyone endorsing uh, this effort. But this, uh, this process is, uh, is, is very important, and I'm sure the subject is going to come up tomorrow. Tomorrow, on Tuesday, Bernanke will appear before the Financial Services Committee as one of his biannual visits uh, to financial services. Uh, as ranking member of the Monetary Policy Subcommittee, I will get an extra three minutes. Uh, you can't change the world in three minutes, but I'll do my best to draw attention to the real problems that we're facing. Just as well, we ha I get five minutes also for uh, questioning Bernanke. And uh, the challenge always is uh, how much information can I get out versus how much free time can he get from me to, uh, to try to undermine what we're trying to do. It seems like the consensus uh, is now uh, from the establishment and from the Federal Reserve is that they will concede uh, some of our requests, but they don't want monetary policy uh, looked at in any way whatsoever. Uh, which is maybe, you know, the big issue. They, they will concede uh, looking at some of these lending institutes, uh, uh, lending facilities that were instituted, you know, during the crisis. But uh, monetary policy where they deal with discount windows and reserve requirements and agreements in this way, they don't want it to be touched. And their argument is that uh, uh, proprietary information of these banks shouldn't be public. But if they're getting public money, uh, the American people deserve to know uh, who's getting it and why. This idea that uh, private companies deserve to be kept totally secret at the same time, get big loans and special privileges from the Federal Reserve, which is outside the realm of what the Congress does, I, I don't quite agree with that. But uh, I think there will have to be a, a full discussion on that, and that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we've had some token hearings in the House. Uh, there may be some more, uh, but uh, whether there will be one specific day to deal only with 1207, that's uh, yet to be seen. But my guess is that this <coughs> reform uh, of the Fed will be put in uh, as a mixture on total financial reform package, which they're, uh, they're working on. But believe me, the uh, people in Washington, the people at the Fed and uh, the establishment are very, very much aware of this grassroots effort. They can claim 100 or so uh, pseudo-economists who claim that we shouldn't, the American people shouldn't know anything about the Fed. But to tell you the truth, I believe there are millions and millions of Americans who 
absolutely demand that we know what's going on with the Fed, and I think all Americans would demand it if they knew exactly what is going on and what has been going on and how powerful the Fed is. So I, my goal is to keep up this momentum and do our very best to work for the reform of the system so that we have a sound monetary and financial system where economic growth can be uh, steady. And instead of going through the cycles of recessions and depressions and inflations and special interests being bailed out at the sacrifice of the middle class.